Hey guys. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah. Let's paint this little bad boy here right up. Let's, uh, yeah. Let's roll into this footage. It's gonna move along pretty fast. Let's roll into it and I'll explain some stuff as we go along. All right, after you got your basic stenciling in, we're gonna go through various different techniques. So we're going to use various different things for shields. You're gonna have to watch really fast because this is moving really fast. I had to get the video edited down to a reasonable time frame. So different things, controlling our edges, and the picture will start to build itself. Uh, let's get back into it. All right, as we get to the beak, we're gonna have a different, couple different colors going on. One, the yellow I had was too much of a, towards the greenish side of yellow. So my first layer of yellow is, is mixed up with a little bit of white to give me just a light yellow. And then I come over that, I add a little bit of orange to my yellow to give it a little more orangey tone. And then after that, I mix a little bit, just a tiny little hint of violet in there to darken that yellow and start putting the shadows in. And that's how we get the shadow colors in the beak. Let's see how we do that. Let's go.
Okay, when you get inside the beak and in the tongue and stuff, um, it's important that you understand. Basically, all you're looking at is two separate concave structures, one within the other. So the tongue is a more or less a concave structure with a little bit of folding and shading around inside another concave structure. And pay attention to how that light hits and how that shadowing is. I might ought to point out if this is moving a little bit too fast for you, you guys might want to check out my Patreon page where I will have this video uploaded at about an hour long worth of footage. And uh, you know, you can guys find my Patreon page over there off my main page and there'll be a link down below. But anyway, I'm gonna get back into this. Let's roll back with some more footage. All right, as we get into this, doing the feathers on top of the head and we're doing the feathers off the side, there's a little bit we missed in here in footage and that's because I was live streaming part of this so that you could actually see happen in real time. Um, you know, we're going to oh, do a little bit of scratching and racing techniques and I'm not gonna get too bogged down into, you know, worried about being slow motion with this because I have multiple tutorials covering some of these techniques. Um, but a color is used in there. You got a really, really bl light blue, which is just cobalt blue mixed with transparent base and some reducer. And then I've got a little bit of a sepia mixed in with transparent base so that we're spraying really lightly. And then I have a brownish sepia and black mixed in with some transparent base for some of that coloring. And it's important to spray very, very lightly and work gently this the white portion of the head is actually the easiest portion of the painting to get done but let's roll back into it and i'll talk to you in a minute
All right, guys, that is going to wrap this one up today. I'm Bill Kennedy with W. Leon Artistry, by the way. If you didn't know who I am, I get new people coming in here all the time. Some people call me Leon. Anyway, most people call me Bill. Um, William Leon is my given name, so that's how W. Leon Artistry came about. Anyway, um, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, like, share, comment, all them really cool things, especially subscribe. And if you subscribe, you got to ring the notification bell and make sure notifications are on. Get people all the time say, hey, I'm not getting notified of new videos. Well, that's, you know, I'm, it's out of my control. But anyway, guys, I hope you got a little bit of something out of it. We do really appreciate y'all coming by here. And that's going to wrap it up. Y'all have a good one.